I'm passionate about it. If I'm passionate about a topic, we're about to get heated. Oh, God. So, so my topic is TikTok is blowing up, right? It's it's growing in user base. It's growing. Millions way, of it's interesting how when the advertisements first came out on YouTube, yeah. I don't know if you remember, there was a bunch of advertisements on YouTube for TikTok. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Uh, I'm sure a lot of people who watch YouTube yeah. saw them. Um, but, uh, like, I never thought it really blow up. I thought it was, like, some right. kind of, like, Chinese app that people wanted you to, like, uh, associate with oh you can't see me great um, <laughs> it was this Chinese app that people could you know they were just getting pushed by like yeah. I don't even know yeah we get it like, <laughs> we get it it's a Chinese app that oh, no one knows about you, uh, you disrupted my flow yeah. here <laughs> um, but anyways my going back to the point I was saying I swear if I, it's a Chinese app. <laughs> it's a I Chinese saw it as something that was you know trying to grow but never would grow yes. and people were like artificially promoting it but then like just when Beneath got on it I think when I was like I want to get on TikTok yeah. I was like whoa this is actually like penetrating into like exactly. the YouTube space and whatnot. Yeah. so it is bigger than I think anyone imagined right and so that's exactly what I get, want to get to so it's making changing people's lives average Joes are out here making the next Addison Rays and all this stuff uh, like the fact that I even know that name is, is embarrassing in itself I, but again, it's just I so I know there's tertiary connections that you guys know because you're on TikTok yeah. I know by you guys keep saying that name yeah. so no I've never said that name in my life you keep my free mentioning time. it when did I ever mention it five seconds ago yes yeah, so that's the first time you've ever probably the last it. podcast check the no receipts. this guy's okay either way um, wow um, <laughs> <laughs> now going into it so this is a blowing up platform it's it's Huge. We kind of gone past the MySpaces to the Facebooks to the uh, YouTubes to the Instagram. Vine. Vine is gone, and I think Instagram is probably the next one on its way out because God Never. don't go on Instagram. Not with James Charles on there looking at it as a dating app. But again, James Charles is on TikTok now. So TikTok is now the next growing, blowing up space. And my argument, which is going to be up to you to refute or you can agree with it, is every single person out there going ahead into the future should have a TikTok. Grannies included? Grannies included. If you want to be relevant going forward as a person, I'm not even talking about social media, as a person in social media, I'm talking about as a person, you go to school, you are a normal kid. To be relevant, to have a voice or to interact with other kids, you will have to have a TikTok. Why the hell would I need a TikTok? And I'm going to tell you. So when you go to school, you are going to be out of the zeitgeist of anything that's going on if you don't have a TikTok. You don't know the trends. You don't know why kids are in the corner doing this. You're going to be like, what is going on? You're going to be out of the loop on news. A lot of news is now just splattered on TikTok in the second that it comes out. You get a lot of tips, tricks, uh, food, diet, exercise. Every single thing is on TikTok. People, when I know when it first came out, we saw the commercials of the stupid little dances. And there was all these videos, like Penguins made videos out there, of like just completely roasting these people on TikTok. And I thought it was a joke. And it was around that time last year, especially when Beneath got on it. I think a lot of our generation got on the app at that time because it was quarantine time. We were looking for things to do, especially me. I was like, man, I'm super bored. And then I downloaded TikTok and I was scrolling through and it turned out, I was like, wait, there are these weird 60 second videos that are not these dumb dances. There's information on here. There's really clever jokes. Like there's some really funny stuff on there. Um, like genuinely funny, not cringe stuff. So I think with that kind of perspective on TikTok, if you don't have one, you're missing out on a huge part of the culture going forward. I think that people overestimate how important it is to be part of the culture, the things the zeitgeist. Yeah, okay. I think that it's important, but also it can like, like developmentally slow you down. Hmm. Like looking at the same TikToks every day, it's not very really stimulating to the mind. Yeah. I think that the same thing with platforms like Reddit and TikTok and where everyone sounds or looks very similar in a that sense. That is true too. Like everyone on Reddit sounds the same. And I think that if you live on Reddit, I don't think that's uh, developmentally good for you because you're getting very similar opinions, the same one-liner jokes of like a three comment thread. Like you see it over and over again. Same thing with TikTok. You see the same thing over and over again, yeah. the same song, the same uh, basically idea. And it, it's not very developmentally stimulating. So I think I, that I completely disagree. So here's what's happening. Well, I don't completely disagree. I agree with that part, but you're missing out on a lot of other stuff. There is far more to TikTok than these dances and all these little things that are going on every day. The underneath it all, there's actually some cr pretty crazy stuff happening psychologically and sociologically. What's happening is you're having people have arguments. 
You're having people bring up discussions. You're having people bring up old conservative ideas. You're having people even tease out some of these new liberal ideas. I do that are really stupid. enjoy when liberals and conservatives fight. Obviously. Yeah, not even it's that. It's not funny. even a partisan <laughs> thing I'm talking about. I'm talking about just general things that people are bringing up, whether it has to do with Muslims, whether it has to do with homosexuality, whether it has to do with any of these button push button topics. You're having people bring up these discussions. You're having people fight it out. You're having the majority rule. You can have like a really good idea in an argument, have blow up with millions of likes. You have a bunch of responses. And overall, that becomes the overarching right answer to things on, on TikTok. No, I've seen too many bad takes on TikTok. Sure, but they're absolutely, if it's a bad take, it absolutely gets overwhelmed with responses and, and video responses and comments. I will say that the community on TikTok is actually better than, in my opinion, any community on Reddit or YouTube or anything like that. This why? Is, this is squeaking, that's why I'm doing this. Okay. I don't know, why? I've seen some pretty dark, terrible things and people on on tiktok but don't you think that the community in general is a lot more positive though than youtube I feel like in, YouTube in way, as sure. creators yeah. i get way more criticism on any other platform than i do on tiktok i get a lot more support yeah no that's true and and, and i do see a lot more interaction on tiktok as well a that's lot more interaction thing. a lot more just genuine people like vibing with you rather than like i feel like on instagram and especially on instagram people will follow you just to keep up with you instead of like actually supporting you and like engaging with you and like yeah. being part of your community versus on Instagram it's like oh when I post something like super personal or something like revolutionary in my life that's when people like maybe want to engage but other than that like nobody cares about what I do on a day-to-day -day. versus on TikTok it's like very engaged yeah it's very strange how that is how it is. people seem to want to comment more see people seem to want to interact more when it's on a TikTok. when it's that 60 second yeah. 30 second video format people interact with that a lot more than they do with long youtube videos i think exactly. youtube is also dying it was around YouTube's that time that dying. TikTok spiked up that our channel just psh, started going down and along with a lot of other channels not a lot of other most creators. beauty channels are dying as far as like being innovative now because for one TikTok is taking everything that beauty YouTubers do and putting it into 60 seconds. And nobody really wants to watch a huge YouTube video on the new trend, even though it's probably where the idea originated and probably where it was kinked out. And the roots go back to YouTube, but people just want to hear it in 60 seconds on TikTok. Exactly. I have a hot take here. I think a lot of this is because a lot of people on YouTube don't really have much substance like if you're making like a zony vegas tutorial and you can make instead of saying hey guys what's up and they yeah, drag yeah. it down to 11 minutes you can easily condense that into like True, a little small but TikTok. i also think YouTube... but i think that there are people who have a lot to say that have actually like deeper thoughts on what you can put in a TikTok video and mm -hmm. i think that TikTok serves those people wrong because you don't really get them on TikTok. i've seen like a doctor like be, give some very bad take on like homeopathy or something and there. they're like not even like uh actual like doctors like they're like you know homeopathy mm -hmm. other stuff even and they'll get doctors. like a lot of support or my mom will send me a random TikTok about nutrition <laughs> that's completely off yeah. and um it just has like a ton of like it has like no really criticism of criticism in there so i think that if you really want to get into the deeper topics or like root out like deeper discussions i don't think TikTok's is the place for it i think there's too but much but i also think that TikTok doesn't let you like youtube it's like you you found your niche you got your subscribers now stick with it you can't really explore you're talking YouTube. about as a creator yes absolutely i'm talking about as a viewer yeah i'm talking more as a creator it's better sure because the algorithm's TikTok, a lot yeah. better on TikTok. youtube picks and chooses its favorites it doesn't let you grow at all if you want to try a new youtube uh, makeup trend you won't get views on YouTube versus because you're weird and you're trying something new. TikTok weirdness and newness and beauty and gaming and whatever it's it's very embraced versus and actually it does go for viewership too. You'll see a lot more innovative things on TikTok in beauty and gaming and everything that probably wouldn't get views on YouTube. I don't know about that. Maybe no, in your space. Agree. I completely even I in gaming. Every, there have TikTok. been just from because I'm trying to get back into gaming. Gaming channel is going to be coming up pretty soon. But Dear I've Lord. seen a lot of individuals use TikTok as a jumping point to get people over to their stream or get people over to their YouTube channel or other, you know, Twitch channels and things like that. So TikTok is definitely the new growing platform you want to go to. to I think it has the most users. Yeah, sure. But I think there's a couple of things. One, again, you guys probably consume very different content. You're probably consume, interested in like a three minute review of a game. What I'm interested in, like a 40 minute discussion that you're not going to get on uh, TikTok. I watch podcasts on YouTube. 
I mean, there's a time and place sure. for it, right? You're not going to get the millions of views on that particular video that you're talking about. Mm-hmm. But if you condense it down to two to three minutes, you will have more people watching it, making it have more views, making it have more interaction and a better piece of content because you've got all the information. If you want a more deeper thing, then you can go to the YouTubes or the longer. Sure. And that's the thing. I think that most people are in the space where they want quick content exactly. and less deep content. Yes. And I think that a majority of the user base on a lot of these platforms skews younger. But I think that over time, as they grow older, they're going to kind of deviate a little more towards deeper content. I think they're going to kind of get sick of the same TikTok spiel over time and they're just going to move away. So I think that there is an aspect of the demographics and I think there is an aspect of uh, people eventually getting tired of uh, like less deep. Um, like less depth but here's what I'm going to say what TikTok what they've been planning to do and if they do do it I do believe could be the end of YouTube as well is they were planning to do videos that are longer than 60 seconds they were going to do 3 to 5 minute videos if they make it so that you can do 5 minute TikTok videos it's over for YouTube why would you ever go on YouTube for anything other than podcasts yeah other than anything that's longer than 5 minutes anything that can be extended to a podcast or something like that if it's a 10 minute video 15, 20 minute video these can all be condensed down to 5 minutes on a superior platform that gives you your your information fast you swipe better through it better algorithm at least for now until these really big companies and stuff start coming in here what happened to YouTube where they pick and choose favorites and try to make it political and put certain people on their front page for whatever reason I just think both have a different time and place I don't think like one is necessarily super better although right now I'm definitely preferring TikTok for creators but I, um, I think as far as viewership yeah they're both good for different reasons I think yeah. YouTube's on its way out if TikTok ever makes that change. Like, that'll be... I can't see why you would go on YouTube for I anything. I don't know why you hate TikTok. So I don't that, hate so. TikTok, but you said everyone needs a TikTok. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, we're not yourself. even at that You haven't topic. explained yeah. why Vicky needs a TikTok. Exactly. So Vicky goes to school, right? She she wakes up. <laughs> yeah, you already said part of the She's right happy. Yeah, she, she said she won't school. know the dance. Yeah, she goes to school, right? And she, she walks in on her class. They're all <laughs> in the corner. Okay, she has no idea what's going on. They start talking. What do they? Uh, uh, get them glizzies or something like that. They talk about glizzies, and she's like, "What's a glizzy?" And then they're, and then they, and then Vicky starts hearing about a, a bussin, and, and some kids eating a hot dog. And he's like, "Yeah, it's bussin." Vicky's like, "What's a what's bussin?" And like every day, Vicky's gonna be behind. Yeah, you know what I do? I'm not in any of that. I just say, "What's bussin?" And they say, "Yo, oh, it's this that," and I'm like, "Okay." I mean, you don't have ne- to have one though. Herman. Next day, what happens when they talk to you about glizzy? Because there are you know, bad like, effects of social media. Oh no, for sure. So yeah. I don't think you have to have one. Like for example, if my kid was here today, I wouldn't let them on TikTok probably unless I had some privacy settings. Or oh, absolutely, settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't think you have to have one, but I think if you're a grown adult and like you want to be in the culture and like know what these things are, then yeah, I think it's. A let good let idea. me continue making my case because that's only one point, right? That's okay, only one Vicky. aspect. Mm-hmm. Vicky then, Vicky then goes online and she, her voice is not going to be as heard as little Timmy who has a TikTok, who makes TikToks about his, what, how he feels, about his teacher, about his ranting, about this. And he's connecting with other students on a different level. Students are interacting with him. Timmy is now a more social individual. His ideas are more widespread. He's more cultured. He's more interactive with the world. I mean, yeah, I think yeah, it's a that positive. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a more... Timmy's more involved with the world now, and Vicky is missing out on that social aspect because what is she going to do instead of TikTok? She's going to come oh home, and she's going to watch Jimmy Neutron. Or you know, you know why I'm here, right? I'm here to call people out on their BS. That's that's my purpose okay. on this let's hear, panel. Let's hear and it. I'm going to tell you right now, Herman's children, daughter and son, will oh not get God. a TikTok till like 20. Oh, absolutely. That's what this nut job is going to yeah, be. Yeah, absolutely. The yeah. little Vicky, his daughter, is going to try getting a TikTok at the age of 10 and he's going to throw the phone against the like wall. Like what he said, there are, so some good, there are some pretty good privacy settings on TikTok. To make sure that this nonsense. Look at this defense. Well, would you let your kid on YouTube where there's also crazy shit? Yeah. You oh would God, I would never let my kid yeah. have free reign If you rain let your kid have free reign on YouTube, he's going to dark places, bro. He's going to Bugs Bunny, uh, kills Roger the Rabbit, barehanded, <laughs> tra- in the MMA ring. It's just like you have to have privacy YouTube settings there. You can have privacy settings on TikTok. No, you didn't hear about that scandal that kids were watching videos and would be redirected to some really dark places yeah, on TikTok. That's why they established all the YouTube kids. Yeah, stuff. Where, sure. where adults were going to... But for the most part, kids are watching Minecraft videos on for YouTube. For the most part, like, on they TikTok, they're also, their algorithm gets skewed to nice, friendly things, yeah, even like without privacy. Yeah. Uh, well, what happens YouTube, when the... they're watching PewDiePie play some wheels. Okay, game. what happens when and, um, the five-year-old is watching, watching Britney Spears shaking her cha-chas? Dance. 
that's not yeah sure that might be in like the Grammys once in a while but no that's like the on Grammys. their page of like I mean that's crazy. just general what you're gonna see in life no, wait till she comes oh across uh, what's the new one Megan Stallion videos F5 Nicki yes. Minaj you might know that name <laughs> Dude, no. Obviously, Sean, there's got to be parents. Yeah, there's a, on overall, there's got to be parents. Sure, settings. but I'd rather have the YouTube basically shows you what normal life is like in yeah. terms of what you're going to see on TV, what you're going to see like in media in general. Mm -hmm. Plus, you can uh, delve into like your Minecraft videos or whatever kids like these in Roblox. Oh, okay, forget kids, um, man. I'm talking about 18 and older. First of all, I don't know why we got to kids. I'm talking about grown people. Well, what you is brought your up Vicky. Forget, <laughs> I shouldn't have said little Vicky. Grown Vicky. <laughs> what, she needs to have a TikTok and those are the reasons for it. You're Like even you, you have no idea what we're talking about when we're talking about is some of this stuff. Again, I think that there is a hive mind mentality here where if you have like some conservative uh, Elizabeth girl, and she watches this, these trash takes with these conservative um, like videos on TikTok. You're not educated at all. And, you know and also I mean? liberal takes as well. Yeah, same she, thing. Yeah, it's either way. But I think it's nice in that you do get to see both sides. Like sometimes I do go on TikTok and I do see conservative videos. I do see liberal videos. I see both it's argue exactly at each other. They're really I see bad. Their no, political, but but really good political good videos are never good in general exactly. on YouTube or TikTok. If but it's there are good people. But I guess what's mind. nice about TikTok Too is you'll hear your average person's voice. That's the other thing. YouTube, you actually have to be a YouTuber and to hear your voice. And very bad takes. Yeah, but I get to see average people come out and give their opinions and stuff. That's cool. Yeah, and, and that's what I meant by the sociological aspect, that all this correction that's going on where people are always like, oh, the old people are going to die out and the new generation will fix all of our problems. Those discussions are happening right now on TikTok. Look at the gender versus uh, sex discussion. You got Ben Shapiro out here, Candace Owens out here, literally arguing with people on whether you're going to call them he, point. she, him, her. No, this wasn't in any okay. previous podcast. I'm going to do a full video on this uh, in the future, but you really have these dumb ideas coming out and, and people are like literally mass erasing them correcting them having arguments over them and really pointing out how dumb they look and, and i think that's really important where else you have a space where you're, these active arguments are happening where average people are saying eh, candace owen said this and she's the best and some dude just comes out with like one no, i'll agree with you that the political dialogue even on like news on all the media platforms is pretty trash uh, so I'm, I won't bash TikTok for it because YouTube. It's, don't if you get your balls I in mean, from YouTube, it's a wrap. Just, <laughs> just freaking download the app if you like. <laughs> That's my side. No, of course. But that my my main thing is that there is bigger things going on in TikTok than we than we understand. There are bigger arguments and bigger discussions happening. You that sound are like my moving. English teacher in college that told me Anaconda is a literary masterpiece. <laughs> Who Anaconda? Uh, the music Anaconda video? don't. She I told you that was a literary yeah, masterpiece. You dissected it. I think you, die, you guys dissected Anaconda in your class. Yeah, I think you're overanalyzing TikTok. I think it's a bunch of kids just following trends for views. I absolutely don't think so because look at all these kids, where they're getting their political opinions from these days. Where do you think that's And happening? why do you think that the political opinions are so narrow and short-sighted? Exactly. Exactly. I completely agree. Just get it from all sources then, the political opinions. Just get it from everywhere you can. But I'm saying that's the conversation starter to bring some of this stuff up where people's dumb that's ideas the problem. are being hashed uh, Yeah. Out. TikTok can be a conversation starter, yes. but nothing more. Sure. sure. But that is also as a way if you do dive down the rabbit hole with people's responses, you do see some of these dumb How arguments. Many, yeah, but I've seen out. you on TikTok. You just keep swiping. Nobody dives deep into I it. Always I no, I, if it's definitely controversial, I go and there's I, video responses. But the average stuff. TikTok, how many TikToks in a session do you go through? Like 100? And how many do you deep dive into the discussion? There's usually about One. like... Yeah, it's like five, five or seven. Ninety-five so percent of... Do you, you press just, on every single title you see on YouTube to deep dive? I'm not. What are you saying? Title. I'm but that's the other thing. Look at how much information. And the other thing is, people are probably like, you know, that don't have their TikTok set up right. Are like, I'm not getting any of this from TikTok because they're watching these like dumb little dances. But for me, if I watch like 100 TikToks, like maybe 50 or 60 of them are about right. some main point mm -hmm. that was made. So I got like 60 main points while you watch one YouTube video. All right. How about this? How about you raise your kid on TikTok? I'll raise my kid <laughs> yeah. my way, and it's your kid will get completely right, obliterated in every way. And then you'll be wondering why the heck is Shaman's kid smarter? Than Shaman, me? why is they better than why? Because they're more... watching Anaconda on YouTube. Exactly. No, <laughs> because they have a well-balanced diet that doesn't consist of hundreds of TikToks. All right.
send it there. Then. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's TikTok. I want to hear what you guys have to say about TikTok down below. Do you have a TikTok? Why or why not? What do you guys think about it? What do you guys think about the whole James Charles situation that we just talked about? We'd like to hear from you guys. Make sure you comment down below if you have any more ideas for our videos. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening in on this podcast. Make sure to subscribe and hit like down below, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Uh, feel free to uh, tell, hey, Shaman's just naturally more intelligent than Herman. Little do they know this kid watches TikToks all day. I really don't. I just think it's a good platform. <laughs>